Hello. Why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! <laughs> Usually they fly out of the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Paws off! The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine a critter like that flying right into the town hall. Again. Usually they fly out of the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Hmm. This owl statue looks incredibly wise. It must have seen all kinds of things swim, float and gurgle past in the brook. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzback. No need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm a Suslik. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're fat, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home, in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why aren't you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable carts people here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading for the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem. I'll take care of it. <sighs> are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. Where can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so, they run around Nashwood, they're invisible, they sting tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> Mr. Spitzweg sent me to... Ah, oh, it's unfort... I... I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> Hedgehog Brothers Carpentry. Wood can we do for you today? There's something I'm written so on the stone hungry. next to it. Talk to one another, deal with one another, uh, live with one another. In remembrance of the regular meetings held on this brook to reconcile the differences between mice, squirrels, and other inhabitants of uh, the woods. Other inhabitants? I guess that would include me if I lived here. Hmm. There's something retort in, uh, I guess, Is it a 
candy lollipop. Okay, I'll tell you what. You give me the lollipop and I'll let you go through. Just this once. Deliciously unhealthy. Actually, I think the honey made it even healthier. Can't be. Healthy things don't taste good. Since when are weird weasels like you health experts anyway? Seems like animals can do anything here. I wouldn't be at all surprised by a weasel that's a health expert. Someone is being attacked by a crow. Hey, it's Ursula. <coughs> oh man, I think he's serious. I shouldn't get too close. We have to help Ursula. There must have been more mail to deliver here before the flood. Well, if the pigeons in the park go for this kind of thing. Ah! At least Anya's cupcakes seem to appeal to birds. I can flip the antenna to chase off the crow, but I can't reach the antenna. The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. Leathery. I wonder who lost this. The sign says, half into the swamp, beware of mosquitoes. The shoelace still looks quite usable. I'll take it with me. Maybe I can use this to flick the antenna and give the crow a good whack. Gotcha! Drat, it won't budge. Oopsie. Oh well, who needs that antenna anyway? Hmm, now I can throw the rope, just like a grappling hook. Leave the little owl alone or I'll let you have it. There, now you're in for it. No reason to thank me. I, magician's apprentice, Jerry Hazelnut, gladly help wherever I can. I saw everything. You're a hero. Not really. You're just like my friend Uli. Unfortunately, he's... 
Oh well, here, take this. What is it? A flyer. A mouse has to make a living, you know. Wow! He said I'm a hero. I'd better take you home now, Ursula. You can ride in my backpack. She was still clutching a crow feather. Did Ursula pluck that from the crow? Hmm, the front wheel is frozen to the spot. Oh, can you believe it? But the weather has been really strange around this tree for the last couple of weeks. And now, it's even started to snow up there. Oh, I've got too much to do. But without my mail bike, I can't deliver the mail. Blue juice. Every keg a treat. Only two leaf bucks. Take a jug for some good luck. A quality product from the friendly wood dwarves. There's an asterisk next to the word friendly and some small print at the bottom. The purchase or consumption of this wood dwarf product in no way obliges the wood dwarves to treat their customers in a friendly manner. Here's a handwritten note. Beware, this is crow territory. For as long as it's unsafe by the river, I will be broadcasting from the swamp. Mousewood Radio, the voice of Mousewood won't give up. Signed, Ludwig Borrower. P.S. All right, I do give up. Now the swamp path is flooded as well. I'm going to be off the air until it's cleared. The building is a shambles. I can't shake the feeling that the crows around here are pretty unpleasant company. The building collapsed. Looks like someone just pecked apart the ceiling and the walls. This is scary. Ugh, I can't reach them. How cute, but it looks somewhat thoughtful too. It seems to be gazing directly at the flooded part of the edge of the woods. Mousewood Town Council announces the village of Riverside is closed for the duration of the flood. Anyone affected by this, please report to the town hall. No looting. And then it says, danger, deep water and crows. Now that sounds dangerous. What a pretty flower. I think I've seen it on the label of one of Mum's relaxation teas. I'll grab a bud to take along. What does the note say? Quarantine. Our housemate Steinberg Woodwolf has come down with a terrible disease. He is grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. And now he is also sick and coughing and sneezing. Do not disturb. Until the quarantine ends, we are going to camp out in the cold woods on the muddy ground. Therefore, we are also grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. Production of blue juice will be discontinued until Steinberg recovers. Soft steel and logger, wood dwarfs. The great Zaroff, clairvoyant illusionist, coming soon to a theatre near you. When and where? Strange. Looks like the dwarves are also in contact with the post office. But if they brew this popular blue juice, I'm sure they also mail it to their customers. Anyone taller than a mouse, or taller than me for that matter, probably wouldn't even notice this. But there it is, hidden among tree roots and moss. Securely locked. Hmm. There's a no Private property of the Wood Dwarfs.
How exciting! Too bad the gate is closed. Wow! If it isn't Jerry, the promising young tree walker that everyone's going on about. You wouldn't happen to have a fire spell handy, would you? That's me, but I'm still in training, you know. Gossip spreads fast here. I hope you realise that I was only joking about the fire spell. After all, my bike is built from a matchbox. It would burn like kindling. Are you Plato the mailman? Well, if these packages don't get delivered today, I'll just be playing old Plato the Frog. <sighs> Your bicycle is really stuck in the ice, huh? Well, I expect the ice will have melted by tomorrow, but that won't do me any good. If I don't deliver the packages today, I'll soon be out of a job. Hmm, maybe I can help you. Good luck, Plato. See you later. Thanks. Oh, what a nuisance. And I was going to go out with Anya tonight. Are these your packages and letters? No, but I am responsible for them. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Would you like me to distribute the mail for you? Hmm. Her? You'd really do that for me? Sure. I'll be running to and fro all day anyway. Oh, that would be a tremendous help. Then I can guard my bike. You know, my delicate frog's legs are better suited for cycling than for marching through the woods. No problem. Consider the mail delivered. I'd better keep it. Okay, I really shouldn't do this. If only Mr. Churchmouse hadn't tied that thread to my coin. The temptation is just too great. It worked! Like with the gumball machine next to my school. Uh, not that I would know. I've just heard things. The last keg of blue juice and a little sticker. It looked, but I can't get across the brook here. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. We have arrived. We will be the solution. Okay. Suspicious guy. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. Another statue. Suspicious guy. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. A fish scale. 
It's all dry and shimmers in lots of colours. Hey, it's really light. Only a hollow tree stump with nothing in it. I hear a whistling sound. The wind is blowing through the hollow trunk, moaning and whistling. It almost sounds like a tune. The organ music of the wind, the breath of the forest. Hmm, how did I come up with that? Don't tell me I'm a poet too. Poet magician Jerry Hazelnut. There's something Rita talked to in other and have I guess I I found your niece. Little Ursula? Ooh -hoo. A crow attacked her. Oh, how is she? Tell me. Oh, she's fine. I chased off the crow. The feather shows me that you speak the truth. I thank you, Jerry. You are a true tree walker. That is what we call animals who help others in need. Oh Good work, Jerry. I'm proud of you. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Special delivery for Mr. Burrower. Ah, my first fan letter. Dear Mr. Burrower, I am a long-time listener of your program and a uh, mm, wonderfully smoky voice. True. Intellectual commentary. True. Cheesecake. <coughs> yes! Fan letter? But what a fan! As thanks for your delivery, please take a small promotional gift. Take this wonderful mug and say with pride, I listen to Swamp Radio 103.6 Hour 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Uh, thanks. Empty. There's a sign. Roof terrace closed. Danger of abduction by crows. That doesn't sound good. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. 